Do you know of many characters that can get 11,000 damage without a dash cancel, just off of a regular combo? It's pretty easy to execute. There we go, 11,000 damage, didn't even cost me a dash cancel, super. I feel like it's important to show you this at the very start, just so you know what we're working with. And yes, this is all a real combo, the opponent's on recovery, and I just did 16,000 damage with a single dash cancel. Oh, you somehow, you were dashing around and you were trying to avoid my red attack? Oh, well you just took like 14,000 damage because I used a single dash cancel. Fine, easy- Oh, This is just where the dirt's starting, guys. Oh, like he can just- there's no possible possibility that you're gonna meet your blow, so he can just keep doing huge damage. Literally infinitely until you're dead. And that didn't that didn't even meet your blow, guys. Did you see that? The final hit. If I was face it Oh my god. If he was facing a wall then, that would have been a wall splat, after that huge combo. Can you believe that? That wasn't a meaty blow. Oh my god. Be unsafe. Like, that's what you'd expect, because he's gonna hit you and you're gonna be unsafe. But, nope. They try and punish you, instead, you punish them for trying to punish you. Because that's fair. Imagine trying to punish Gran Torino, lol. <laughs> Nineteen thousand damage off of a single plus ultra combo, no dash cancels or anything. That's his regular attack. You can go into a sixteen thousand damage combo. It is actually like not that difficult unless you're me and and then I'm recording. There we go. I just hit again. You can even extend it a bit more with another dash cancel if you want. Or two. Or three. To get like 21,000 dash um, damage for three dash cancels. And that's what I was talking about. There's not really a point in doing his plus ultra one. Because he's going to get ridiculous damage like that anyways. <laughs> But basically, you can just repeat this to the ends of the earth at the end of your combo to add like an extra 10 or 20,000 damage to the end of your combo. And at this point, there's not really much point in doing it anymore because. 25 is the max damage for a combo in this game, but is that not a little bit weird? That's even cheaper. That combo there, oh my god. That combo was cheaper than a plus ultra 3. Now we can get into his combos, and I think, I mean, I've basically spoiled everything. I've shown it all already. But basically, his bread and butter that you're going to be trying to aim for. Actually, let's show that you can get tons of damage completely meterlessly. So if you get your punish, you know, you don't want to spend your meter, you're trying to save up for some reason. 11,000 damage. Zero dash cancels. Completely free. <laughs> okay. And if you want to use a single dash cancel, well then, you can go four hits into armor move, quirk one, jump in the air, and charge your quirk one while you're in this. Armor attack, quirk one, jump in the air. Oh, I was a bit slow. Damn it, damn it. Oh, so close to getting a first try. Oh, damn it. You have to time that a little bit as well. <sighs> Wait, come on, I can do this. I need to show you. It's not crazy hard, I just am very good at messing up combos when I'm recording. No! Oh my god! 
Here we go. 16,400 damage, single dash cancel. That's pretty fair, if you ask me. And obviously, you could have added a red attack to the beginning of that as well, just to make it add a little bit extra damage. It would have been 17,000 damage. Like, isn't, isn't that just a tiny bit ridiculous, guys? A single dash cancel. And that's off of a regular hit, too. It's not like going off of, like, a unusual hit like some characters can get, you know, if I, oh, if I start with this thing, I can get tons of damage. No. That's his regular attack. You can go into a 16,000 damage combo. It is actually, like, not that difficult, unless you're me and, and, and I'm recording. There we go. I just hit again. You can even extend it a bit more with another dash cancel if you want. Or two. Or three. To get, like, 21,000 dash um, damage for three dash cancels. And that's what I was talking about, there's not really a point in doing his plus ultra one, because he's gonna get ridiculous damage like that anyways. The only like plus time I ever use a plus ultra one or two is if I know they have supports and I just need to get like a single hit into a like unbreakable damage, because I know they're gonna break my combo instantly. Cause God against Gran Torino you need to make sure you always have supports to break a combo or else you are dead. Because he does so much damage. If your opponent knows how to do combos and they're just not a stupid mashing Gran Torino, like an online Gran Torino, then like 13,000 damage, that's nothing to Gran Torino. If, if they hit you, you're gonna get in a consistent 16,000 damage combo, so you need to always have your support ready to break it. So that's why I use the only situation I ever do a plus ultra 1 or 2 is to get damage that they can't break with their supports. Okay, um, is there really anything else for me to show combo wise? Um, actually, yes, there is. Thanks for asking. <laughs> You can actually get even more damage meterlessly if he has supports. And like supports usually aren't even that valuable to Gran Torino. Because you can get tons of damage with like no dash cancels or one dash cancel. But if I decide to use an Aizawa support, I'm getting 15,000 damage um, for zero dash cancel. <laughs> Um, and I think I could have actually gotten even more if I go... Oh no, wait, 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 wait. Is that a meaty blow because he got hit by that last thing? Yeah. Okay, so you're gonna be, like, if you're using it as support, because the, all of the hits of this hit, including the last one, which adds to his meaty blow, you're usually only gonna be able to get about 15,000 damage. But, <laughs> why are you complain? <laughs> I can't complain and get about getting 15,000 damage for zero dash cancels. That's ridiculous. And obviously the same can be done with All Might as well, his support. So this team works really well together. If I decide, like, you know, my combos are overpowered, but I don't want to spend, like, I don't want to spend a single dash cancel to get 16,000 damage. That's oh, so expensive, you know. <laughs> yeah, 15,000 damage, and I, if you didn't realize, I charged up this, so if you want to try and zone me out, I have that on move, or I can just come in with this and I'm safe, and then I get to go into my combos if you try and punish me, so yeah. <laughs> Guys, I think that's all about all I have to say with Gran Torito. He is ridiculous damage, and actually one last thing I have to show combo-wise, is if you've like done any kind of combo, I've already kind of shown it, but you can infinitely do this. Like, as long as you have the meter, you can infinitely just do a few hits into his quirk 2, and as long as you dash cancel, it's not going to add to the meaty blow at all. So you can just do as many of this as you want. Like, that was three, but you can do, like, like your entire take your whole meter out so basically if you're against a, if you when you're playing Gran Torino if you've done a combo and your opponent has like a bit more health than you would 
like usually be able to deal. Like maybe they have 20,000 health, which is like three quarters of their health bar. And you're like, oh man, I can't actually finish them off in my combo. Like doing something like this. I messed up, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> but basically, you can just repeat this to the ends of the earth at the end of your combo to add like an extra 10 or 20,000 damage to the end of your combo. And at this point there's not really much point in doing it anymore because 25 is the max damage for a combo in this game, but is that not a little bit weird? That's even cheaper. That combo there, oh my god. That combo was cheaper than a plus ultra 3. And it was like the same amount of damage as a plus ultra 3. And it was just like based on his regular attacks. And that wasn't optimal at all. You can do it at the end of a combo like this. And here we are, if I end it here, that's actually only cost me two plus ultra meters. So it's like the same as a level 2 combo, except it did the same amount of damage as a plus ultra 3 would have with other characters that have a team plus ultra. That is... it's, it's so ridiculous, guys. And a major thing of having a comp... having 16,000 damage as a combo with a single dash cancel is at the beginning of the game, if you get hit by Gran Torino, like, when the game starts, you know, when you both don't have your sidekicks and stuff, if you get hit by him, because, you know, here's a really fast attack string in the air, so, you know, it's likely that you'll get hit by him. Like, that was... Oh. But he can get the 16,000 damage combo before you even have your supports. So you are, like, have lost over half of your life before you even had the chance. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. I've, I've gone brain dead and I can't do any of the combos. But he can do 16,000 damage before you have the chance to have your supports and break the combo. Just by using a single dash cancel. So it's not even like Rapa who uses up his, like, all the meter he has at the start of the game in order to do a combo. This guy can just do a single dash cancel and he's taken over half of your health. Like, what? And then, and then they troll spin. They always troll spin. Anyways, guys, that's Gran Torino. He is like everything overpowered. Overpowered red attack. This amazing like projectile avoiding move. He has amazing like these armored moves that can be used to get into on the opponent or start combos <laughs> if you want. Like, if I hit, if someone tries to run up to you while you're doing this, you counter them. You jump into the air, do a full combo. But yeah, he's ridiculous. Obviously he's gonna get nerfed when the first patch come out, but I thought I'd do this now while he's crazy and ridiculous. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!